Today we are going to do linear division. Linear, as you know, has been coined from the word line. As it was explained in the video on multiplication, when you write the multiplicand, multiplier and the product on the same line, we call it linear multiplication. In the same way, when you write the dividend, divisor and quotient on the same line, we call it linear division. Now children, you must understand that linear multiplication and linear division is not a new or a different method of solving sums. It is the same procedures, just, do, just not done step by step so that time is saved. In case you want to know why you need to save time, this is my answer. Right now, in class 4, fundamental operations, that is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, is a separate topic in mathematics. But as you move on to higher classes, it will become just a part of the solution. You will stop getting questions asking you to add or subtract or multiply or divide the given numbers. You will be required to use the four fundamental operations in a smarter and faster way to solve the different questions from the various topics in mathematics. That is where linear addition, subtraction, multiplication and division will help you because you will be practicing how to use your mental ability to calculate and arrive at the answer, avoiding all the steps in between. Let us see how linear division actually helps us to save time. Take the first example, 256 divided by 2. First, let us do short division. Write 256 as the dividend, the div divisor 2 and start dividing. 2 by 2 is equal to 1. Divide 5 by 2. 2 twos are 4 and 5 minus 4 is 1. So carry over 1. 16 by 2 is 8. So write 8. And 2 8s are 16 which means there is no remainder. So Q quotient is equal to 128 and R remainder is equal to 0. If I avoid this step where I am writing the dividend, the divisor and then dividing to get the quotient and remainder, I can save that time. Let us see how to skip this step and get the answer directly. For that, put an equal to sign here after the question and start dividing. 2 by 2 is equal to 1. 5 by 2 is equal to 2 carry over 1 and 16 by 2 is equal to 8. That's the quotient and the remainder. See how fast it is? Let's do one more example. 475 divided by 3. So as I said put the equal to sign and start dividing. First divide 4 by 3, 3 will go once, so write 1, 3 ones are 3, 4 minus 3 is 1, carry over 1, divide 17 by 3, 3 will go 5 times, 3 fives are 15 and 17 minus 15 is 2, carry over 2 and divide 25 by 3, 3 will go 8 times in 25. So write 8, 3 eights are 24 and 25 minus 24 is 1. That's the final remainder. So I'll put it inside the circle and write Q is equal to 158 and R is equal to 1. We'll do one more example. 6532 divided by 4. Put the equal to sign and divide 6 by 4. 4 will go once. So write 1. 4 ones are 4 and 6 minus 4 is 2. Carry over 2 and divide 25 by 4. 4 will go 6 times in 25. 4 6s are 24 and 25 minus 24 is 1. Carry over 1 
and divide 13 by 4. 4 will go 3 times in 13. 4 3s are 12 and 13 minus 12 is 1. Now divide 12 by 4. 4 will go 3 times in 12. So write 3 and 4 3s are 12 which means the remainder is 0. So write Q is equal to 1633 and R is equal to 0. Let us practice few more sums. First, 73,401 divided by 5. Put the equal to sign and divide the first digit 7 by 5. 5 will go once in 7. So, 5 once are 5 and 7 minus 5 is 2. Carry over 2 and divide 23 by 5. 5 will go 4 times in 23. So, write 4 and 23 minus 20 is 3. Carry over 3 and divide 34 by 5. 5 will go 6 times in 34. 5 6 is a 30. So write 6 and 34 minus 30 is 4. Now divide 40 by 5. Very easy. 5 8 is a 40. So write 8 and there is no carryover. The last digit 1 is lesser than 5. So you cannot divide 1 by 5, you put a 0 and that 1 becomes the remainder. So Q is equal to 14,680 and R is equal to 1. Next example is 25,638 divided by 8. The first digit 2. Can it be divided by 8? No, it is smaller. So you take 2 and 5 together, 25 by 8. 8 will go 3 times in 25. 8 3s are 24. 25 minus 24 is 1. Now divide 16 by 8. 8, 2s are 16 and there is no remainder. So divide 3 by 8 which is not possible. 3 is smaller. So Take 3 and 8 together and divide 38 by 8. 8 will go 4 times in 38. So write 4. 8 4s are 32 and 38 minus 32 is 6 which is the final remainder. So the quotient is 3204 and remainder is 6. One last example. 92630 divided by 12. The first digit, put the equal to sign. The first digit 9 cannot be divided by 12 since it is smaller. So you take 9 and 2 together. 92 divided by 12. 12 will go 7 times in 92. 12 sevens are 84. And 92 minus 84 is 8. Now divide 86 by 12. Again, 12 will go 7 times. So write 7, 12 sevens are 84, 86 minus 84 is 2. Now divide 23 by 12. 12 will go only once. 12 ones are 12, 23 minus 12 is 11. Last divide 110 by 12. 12 will go 9 times in 110. 12 nines are 108. And 110 minus 108 is 2. So now Q is 7719 and R is equal to 2. That's how easy linear division is.